All right, Shalom. <clears throat> this is Har One by Yashallah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Kal Halayim, Le Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Harakakodash, my mouth. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. Shalom to you, Hakim, <clears throat> and Akwatim and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. This is um, Proverbs four and, um, and seven. All right, um, let's start from five. It says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. All right, that means not to turn back into the world. All right. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee, man. So the word love means to be in order. All right, and to keep this word close to you and love her more than the world. All right, um, in fact, all right, this is John, first John 2 and 15. Love not the world. See, the Lord said, Don't love the world. All right, two thirds of our people they love this world, the Esau's world, what they're establishing in their new world order. Then they love this place, they love the wickedness, and they want to continue that. Um, <clears throat> love not the world Neither the things that are in the world If any man love the world The love of the father is not in him For all that is in the world And the lust of the flesh And the lust of the eyes And the pride of life Is not of the father But is of the world Alright so you, The woman your Family your gold, your, I mean, your, uh, your riches, your wealth, your job. All right, only thing that's yours is what? The kingdom. That's it. If, you, if your family's in the truth, then yeah, you're blessed, uh, you know, for them to be in the same uh, order as you. But if, you, if you're around people that's in the world, man, he said, if that right arm offend thee, cut it off. All right? Um, and the world passeth away So this world is passing away Alright And the lust thereof And the riches and the pride of it and, You know Ain't what they talking about right now Pride The little pride movement But you know Esau prideful Even two thirds of our people are prideful You got them using the rainbow You already know and it says the world passeth away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of Yahweh of Yahweh abideth forever that his word is forever and if you abide in his word um, and you love his word then what you you become part of that you, all right? it's like um, you become a drop in that river that's already flowing you become part of it Right, forever. That's continuing forever. That flows from the throne of Yahweh by Shimei to the elect and through eternity. All right, it says here, um, verse seven says, "Wisdom is the principal uh, thing, man." So it's the, what the first thing, the top thing. Let me get that. It's a principal. It says, uh, "Principal." Rashayath. It means the first in place, time, order, rank. Okay, his word. So get wisdom. Follow the words of the Creator. Now it says, um, it says, wisdom is the principal thing. So way better than money. Money comes and goes. The scriptures say that it gets, gains wings and flies away. Um, and also thieves can steal it and, and it can rust it can lose value alright now it says this um, uh, wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all that getting get understanding don't chase after your woman don't chase after uh, I mean you gotta get your daily bread which is the wisdom but you also have to make 
your money too. Money should be used as a defense. But against what? For being homeless, against uh, poverty. All right. But the first thing we're supposed to get in our journey is wisdom and trust in the spirit, man. Don't trust in the flesh. And it says this, um, and with all thy getting, to therefore get wisdom, man. Love her, right? And she shall keep thee, man. She's going to keep thee. That's why the Lord said, He could keep, keep thee from the hour of temptation that should come upon all the world. And we in that time. Um, keep you in the truth. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. Ooh, be, be, we're going to be promoted. Promotion day is coming. All right, the elect are going to be promoted to gods, man, to sons of the Most High. All right, promoted to being renewed, refreshed, to be, it says what? Rawa, Rawam. Ra, uh, Rawama or Rawam. It says to be high actively, to rise, raise. So the Lord going, what? Psalms 91. He's going to exalt us. This is Job 5 and 8. I would seek unto Yahweh, and unto Yahweh would I commit my cause, all right? Which doeth great things and unsearchable marvel, mar marvelous things without number. So if, you, if the Lord be with you, who can be against you? So you got to trust in Him. Which doeth marvelous things, you know? He's going to turn us into those marvels. For people to marvel at A spectacle Who giveth rain upon the earth And sendeth waters upon the fields Man So he's, he's, he's Completely able to take care of us Alright He give water and rain to each blade of grass So he definitely can take care of us You know and he also gives us the wisdom Same way he gives the, the blades of grass The water And water the flowers of the earth He uh, water, can water us as well And anoint us It says to set up on high Those that be low See that that's to what You know to be promoted That those which mourn May be exalted to safety That's to be promoted to safety Alright when it says what he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise he taketh the, the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the froward are carried headlong so that's when when the Lord destroys Esau in the midst of that the Lord gonna raise up the elect of Israel that believe alright and um Back to this. So you're gonna exalt us. Alright. Uh Proverbs 4 and 8. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. So how do we exalt the word? Wisdom. Alright. Isaiah 13 and 1. The burden of Babylon this is the burden that's coming upon this place, Babylon. The daughter of Babylon, especially America. Which Isaiah the son of Amos did see Lift ye up a banner Alright Lift ye up a banner Upon the high mountain Exalt the voice unto them Shake the hand That they may go into the gates of the nobles So shake the hand Teach our people Out in the streets Proverbs says what uh, Wisdom cried without in the streets she uttered her voice in the chief place of concourse on the markets. All right, in the busy uh, places in the city. So that's where she's exalted at. All right, um, by you lifting up what? All right, Isaiah 58 and 1. And this is why we do the work. We're exalting wisdom. All right, the Lord's wisdom. The wisdom of the righteous instead of the wisdom of this world. Cry aloud and spare not Lift up thy voice like a trumpet And show my people their transgressions In the house of Jacob their sins Alright 
So to be promoted, you exalt wisdom and lifting it by lifting up the banner upon this place, man. Yeah, within this place, this, this proud uh, kingdom of Esau, we lift up the banner, and in return, the Lord's gonna lift us up. This is John 3 and 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, all right, as a sign. And uh, we exalt wisdom. The spirit of Yahweh was shy. And in return, the Lord is going to exalt the elect, all right, his voice. So the same way we lift up Yahweh Shai, you know, exalt Yahweh Shai, he's going to exalt us. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. For yeah, all right. So, um, all right. So let's get back to it. Um, Proverbs four and eight. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. All right. Be promoted. The kings, man. You know, and that time is coming, man. Promotion day. Time for promotion. She shall bring thee. To honor, mm. to bring you to your house, shy to be honored, man. Get a crown upon thy head. When thou doest embrace her, she shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. So embrace wisdom the same way you embrace it. more than you embrace your woman. Embrace wisdom, man. All right. It's, it's, uh, she'll give to thine head. An ornament. All right, let's see what that ornament is, and that's the Lord's name in this this uh the Tawa, the mark of exemption. Something attached, a wreath. Wow, man. All right. Um. Uh, Lawaya. All right. So something attached to that that head be fully circumspect or uh. uh Spiritually circumcision, circumcised. That's what they call the halo, all right, an ornament, but it's spiritual. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee, man. The crown of the kingdom, that's what glory represents, to be glorified. So we exalt uh, wisdom, the Lord, and he's gonna exalt us to glory in the kingdom, all right. Hear, O oh my son, and receive my sayings, man. Don't block them out. Receive it. Receive the word. You know, but uh, two thirds of our people, they're going to do this. All right. Jeremiah 8 and 3. And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places where I have driven them. Say, if Yahweh, Fashim El Shai. So they of the two thirds. That were destined to be two thirds and be destroyed. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna what? Choose death rather than life, man. They're choosing what, what Biden is putting out there. They're choosing death, man. They're choosing wickedness as well, and their daily uh, sin, idolatry. They're choosing death rather than life. All right, so they're gonna be pulled down into it. But uh, those that have chosen life, life should choose thee as well, and they exalt you in the in the end. All right, all right. Because scripture saying Galatians, uh, to, basically the Lord has chosen us, man, or chosen the hopeful elect. And he says, um, not that you know the Lord, but that you are known of the Lord. <laughs> you know. Um, so we should be thankful Verse 10 says Hear O my son and receive my sayings And And years The years of thy life shall be many Wow I have taught thee In the way of wisdom I have led thee in right paths Take fast hold of instruction why? Because when you're going through this uh, w uh, weary land, you know, 
and it's, it's set up to resist us, you gotta hold tight onto your belongings. You gotta hold tight to uh, this wisdom, the truth, and the laws. All right, as you go through this dark place, man. Two thirds of our people, they they slip, blind, man. Right, they're walking blindly and they have no strength and so they, they don't know how to hold on to the Lord Take the Lord said take hold alright this is First Timothy's uh, 12 or 6 and 12 alright it says um, fight the good fight of faith so alright this is a good fight this is the fight to, uh, to fight for Not for equal rights in America And all that uh, madness uh, Or rights for different organizations And shit And communities Not to go fight in, the, uh, in Esau's army Fighting for democracy <laughs> All right but the Lord said what? Fight the good fight of faith, man. Okay, because it takes faith to uh, move this mountain, this government, this, this nation of Edom that's ruling. It's going to take faith. Same faith it took for us to march around Jericho and to fall All right, after the seventh time around. And that's how we're doing this truth. We go around the same circle, same mountain, loop to loop. Lay hold on eternal life, man. Lay hold on it. They so saying, lay hold on eternal life. All right. So that's to hold on to it, not be weak and can't have no strength to hold. They said lay hold on eternal life, man. Why? Because before this we were uh, spiritually dead. But then that anchor or that, that rope gets thrown down to us and, and whisk, whisk us off, man, onto eternal life, onto eternity. That's what I was saying earlier, you become that drop that gets added to that, that flowing river of water that's already flowing from the Lord. So you take hold on that eternity, you become a part of it, part of his word, all right? part of his body. Whereunto thou art so called, art also called, man, it had to be predestined, but you still had to be chosen, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. All right, so with all thy getting, get wisdom, man. The Lord ain't saying you gotta get, you don't have to get anything. You can get a woman, you can get uh, money, you know, you can get a house, you can get a business. But the Lord said you have to be prepared to lose all these things. All right. So with all that getting, get wisdom, get understanding. You know, get you a surrounding of people that believe in Yahweh Shemuel Shai. Because if they don't love him, they're not gonna love you. And that's just it. All right. Because you need people around you that have the fear of the Lord in them. And that's important. All right. Um, where was that? Take fast. Oh, Proverbs 4 and 7. Take fast hold. Of instruction, all right. So Proverbs uh, chapter one, I receive the instructions. All right, what's the instruction, man? The instructions is what to go teach, how to teach, being instructed by the elders, apostles, the GMS, the apostles of GMS. All right, the elders in it, being instructed by uh, the, the elders in your camps. Okay. And the instructions, which are what? The basic instructions before leaving earth, ain't that what they say? 
but whatever you know the instructions man everything in created comes with instructions man so keeping the laws to the best of our ability and the and um here go the instructions right here all right mark 13 and uh 34 for the son of man is as a man taking a far journey okay the builder of the house is as a man the husband been taking a far journey and what do two thirds say they become adulterous man two thirds start worshiping idols and shit the far journey he took he's on the right hand of the father alright our spiritual husband according to our nation it says this for the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house right? he left he left uh, Israel Right. And gave authority to his servants Spiritual authority man Same authority he gave to Peter And to the apostles to uh, cast out demons And to go teach Alright uh, And to every man his work And commanded the porter to watch Alright Watch therefore for you know not when the master of the house cometh at evening or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning lest coming suddenly he finds you sleeping and what I say unto you I say unto all watch so that's his, that's his instructions alright so he gave authority to, to the uh, the heads of the, the heads that are in the spirit alright um, check this out First Peter 5 and 2 feed the flock of Yahweh which is among you Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, not for money, but of a ready mind, meaning studying to show thyself approved, man, to be uh, on a certain level, you know, to lead our people. All right, neither as being lords over God's heritage, that's what a lot of people want to be, is lords over another per, another man. But being examples to the flock, so that's what we're supposed to be examples. All right, like uh, Pastor Har, he's a perfect example. And you have many other examples, but he's a perfect example of diligence. And that's what it takes to get to the kingdom diligence. All right, and, and spiritual morality as, as Yahweh Shah. It says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elders, man. All right, yea. All of you be subject one to another. That's setting up the order. That's setting up a kingdom. All right. All of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. So you're supposed to be humble and, and, and be uh, in humility. I don't care if you're a gangbanger, you got into this truth. You need to hum people need to humble themselves. Or a fighter, or a boxer, or military, a general. You get into this truth, you're just a babe. All right. Whether you sh you damn short with a Napoleon complex or you tall with a giant complex, whether you fat, muscular, whatever whatever it is, man, old, young, spiritually they become babes and they have to submit to the one that uh, not worship but you know humble themselves with humility to the brothers that were there first. You know, you don't disrespect them and, and Just because you don't want to hear it from that person uh, or, um, or you want that person to be old Or be an asshole type of vibe That they're not an elder No, the person that's to the water first You got to see how they're drinking Before you just go up there and just start drinking the water You got to ask them the process That's what makes them the, the, the forerunner That's what the elder is so now, uh, it says, uh, Yahweh resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. All right, so if you stay in that order and keep the connection to your camp, to your brotherhood, or if you, you're you just a spokesman, and uh, then you become the leader of the, uh, the camp that's around you. And that's just it. And you have to uh, serve, serve in that manner. All right, humble yourselves, therefore, 
under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. See what I'm saying? So the spirit, the Lord going to exalt us in due time, man. Stay low. You ain't got to walk around with a head down, but you get my point. Staying low, doing the work, treating it like a business, like a, like a military. All right, lieutenants, sergeants, generals, captains, new recruits. You know? So the Lord said, what? He's going to exalt us in due time. All right. So let's get this real quick. It says, what? Casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. You got to know that, man. All right. Um, and that's just it. You got to know that. People, we have to uh, be confident in that, that the Lord cares for us. All right, this is um, Proverbs 4 and 13 again. It says, take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. All right, our bundle of myrrh. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of an evil man. So don't, don't follow these Edomites, these heathens, man. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it and pass away. Man, you know. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they unless they cause some to fall. So they Esau that weapon of spiritual weapon of mass destruction, man. Oh, my hair. Well, and they can't rest until they find somebody that they can bring down. Even these police out here, they, you tell their spirit, they're getting bonuses for uh, locking people up. They show you the spirit of this whole system that was set up by a certain person, which would be Edomites, people. All right, so what? It says this, be sober, be vigilant. So be calm and also be circumspect and be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, Esau, that's our adversary, man, contender, that's contending against Jacob. Even if you ain't fighting, that's on you. He's he punching you while you got your eyes closed, punching you in sleep. All right? Punching the, the lion while he's laying down. <laughs> your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking for about seeking whom he may devour. All right? And it, that's what they're doing. Just seeking who, who they could devour, man. Putting pressure on everybody. Body. Oh, oh, oh. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren which are in the world. All right, so, um, now, nah, because he said, what the devil going about seeking who he may devour, setting up traps. So this is the time to what? Wait, shake that shit off, shake whatever off, man. And um, for people to be circumspect and be uh, clear-minded and focused. All right, and build up those around you. And that's just it, man. And the ones that, that hate, that listen to you, build them up. So I guess the point of this scripture would be with all that getting, uh, we should get wisdom. All right, because in the end, uh, by doing so and exalting the wisdom of your heart by Shem uh that same process of wisdom and through your heart by Shem they would exalt, exalt us. All right. Um, it says, but they eat, for they eat the bread of wickedness. See, we ask for our daily bread from the Lord, the spiritual manna, the spiritual angels food for they eat the bread of wickedness though defiled amongst the gentiles and drink the wine of violence man they drink the philosophies of the violent man Esau and his ways being wicked but the path of the just is as the shining light hmm. 
start small, right? You know? That shine it more and more until the perfect day. Just like the sun when it rises, man. It peaks. Then eventually it's noonday. And it's right there. But it's never gonna fall. Just like the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. Alright. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Like force yourself to watch videos. Force yourself to study and read and pray and teach. Alright. Spirit over the flesh, man. Not the other way around. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Keep this on your mind, man. Staying uh, uh, organic. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh, man. The moment we stop, we begin to lose breath. <laughs> that breath, man, you gotta keep breathing. The breath is the wisdom. The breath is the wisdom of the Lord. Oh, so when we begin to stop taking in that breath, you begin to die. So with that, man, uh, so with all that getting, get wisdom and get understanding, man. You know, they, they, the Lord will anchor you out and hear your SOS, your call, and pull you out of any circumstance, any situation, and continue you on that path to, uh, to the kingdom. All right, so with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.